Good on afternoon everybody, Insignificant Fellow here and welcome to our food thing and this week we have these, these snack and play. Now, would you like some background information? Do you see this one here? It's open. Do you see this here? It's the packaging with its lovely drawing. Do you want to know what happened? The tripod collapsed halfway through recording the last one. And I'm very angry, but we shall persevere. And um, I'll just give you some information that I said to myself just. These are like hazelnut spread with sticks. Um, they're from somewhere, Bill, that the German. And um, they come with a toy inside. Did I just say that? I don't know. I think I did. And um, in the last one I opened, this one, this was the surprise. I shit thee not. A tiny plastic ring. Mm. Totally worth the two quid I spent on these three that were in a box, but then I couldn't really show you the box. This is the box. It's got a scary tiger on it. And they're called Snack and Play. And um, they are boys and girls toys. They're from Aldi. This recording would have gone a lot smoother if the camera didn't fall over. And if the camera falls over again, I'm going to throw it down the garden. But anyway, I didn't actually get a chance to eat one of these before the tripod fell over. So let's try the hazelnutty spreadness. This is what's inside. It's just like um, I think they're called the. Uh, I can't think they're blue in a half a size package with no toy. They're Britain's favourite thing of a jig, and um, the breadsticks are thinner in them, so uh, maybe these breadsticks are better. No. And the other one, the breadsticks taste sweet. You know, to accompany the chocolate. It tastes salty. Let's try the hazelnutty McNutness. Not that much Christ. I'm not here for a brave reward. Mmm. Mmm. Christ. Hazelnut spread. There's a slight hint of chocolate. But it's just sugar. Slimy sugar. Right then. We already have our first toy, and um, let's try and get the others out without the tripod falling over. <laughs> it would be really nice if it didn't. See, inside, same goffins. Only this time, stuff in the way. Yeah. We're all here for the toys, not for the breadsticks. Oh, the, the toys stuck. Oh, blimey. Stand up. <laughs> Meanwhile, off screen, the thing with the nut, with the spread meat, does not want to stand upright when you take the breadsticks out of it because it weighs more. This is the toy. A, um, thing. Would you like to watch as I struggle to put it together? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I need the instructions for this. Because, <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm pretty much assuming wheels underneath the go thing. We got use of parts. You sit there and entertain yourself for a second. Wheels. One wheel. I hate snap on plastic. Eh, eh. Come on, we can do this in under a minute. Oh, we could have the plastic wasn't so strong that it's actually breaking my fingers. Right then. Oh, this is a pointless endeavour. It's crashed. <coughs> The wheels won't come off. This is literally the strongest plastic toy for kids I've ever come across. I was expecting to get in there. Ugh. I'm making a right mess of this table. Got bits of packaging, bits of cardboard, got bits of everything everywhere. We're here all day, tidying up. Right then, toy number three, because we're all here for the toys. We're not here for the horrific Nutella spread. Well, pretending to be Nutella spread. Can't get in this one. <laughs> it's got no pull tab. We're going to have to use our ingeniousness, kids. Now what's on this side? That's the spread. There we go. You don't need intelligence when you have brute strength. Yeah. Now you call them nasty bread sticks. Go all over the place. Oh no! Did you see the catchy glimpse of the toy? I can't get out. It's another one of these. Right then. I'm going to at least build one, and as soon as I started with the buzz, I'm going to build that one. I'm going to use my teeth. Ah. 
are we really any better than the animals when we put together our toys with our teeth? Now, this is the bottom wheel. Wheel. And another wheel. Can you see where I'm going with the wheels? It needs full. And then this thing <clears throat> somehow has to go in it. <laughs> Um, that way maybe. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, we've hit a speed bump. Oh no, we've lost all our wheels and our floor. <laughs> Another one is literally just the same, just a slightly different yellow piece of cheap. Oh yeah. Ugh. The Nutella spread doesn't actually appear to move when it's on its side. It appears to have developed some sort of solid form. Hmm. But yes, we got a crappy plastic ring, a crappy plastic camper van with um, the caravan hook on the wrong end, and a Royal Mail van that's been left in the sun for too long and the paint's faded off it. We also appear to have gotten these. We've got a U53, um, and we've got... A P96. I believe that's actually a form that you need to fill in when you attend university that your mum and dad have to fill out to prove what they earn. <laughs> so what the hell that's doing in here, I don't know. But I've also just found these instructions. Ooh, tantalising. This is apparently everything you get, and that is all the information you need to put it together. There's that, it's not silver. There are the wheels, you put them on, and then you put them underneath, although that never worked. And these are what's available. We could have had a green van, a yellow van, a red one, a VW Beetle, a trying to be a Citroen, a god knows what, a van, and a um, Honda Civic. <laughs> you just stay there. <laughs> but yeah, these have been budget, tasty, snacky, better off giving them to kids than adults because they'll appreciate the thing more but the parents will start to put the toy together because you have to have the strength of thought to get the plastic apart on us. That was more than long enough <laughs> they need to be for the sky then. These are snack and play. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> See you next week guys. <laughs> That's how I'm ending things now by throwing them off the frigging table apparently. Ta-ra!